Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about my April Redbubble earnings. So if you wanna see how much I made in the month of April, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. I definitely made quite a bit more this month, so I was pretty happy with that, and I'll share that with you guys in a second. In case you guys haven't seen my last couple of videos, I actually launched a print-on-demand business basics course. So if you're interested in learning more about print-on-demand, how you can get started, how you can scale your print-on-demand business, and how you can actually start earning sales month to month and making sure that the effort you're putting in doesn't go to waste and you actually make money out of these sites. And I also go into detail about a lot of other things that I haven't mentioned on this channel yet, such as the legal side of print on demand, so what type of photos you can use, paying taxes and all that in between to make sure you're covered, and some other random things that I've put in there that's helpful to know. So if you're interested in taking that course, you can buy it down below in my description bar. I have another code for you guys because the first one ran out, it was just the first week special, but I have another one that's going to be going on for the next little while, so it's not full price yet so it is still only $29 right now so make sure you get that before the price goes up again I'm not sure how long they'll keep this because I have partnered with the International Open Academy so they're actually hosting the course and they're doing the pricing for this course based on other similar courses so right now it is definitely a steal so make sure you check that out down below in the description bar but let's get back into this video so before I reveal my earnings I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing for you guys if you remember, I did a Redbubble haul unboxing video maybe a month or two ago. I'll link that up here, but I actually was missing one of the items and it just came in the mail like a couple days ago. So I thought I'd show you guys that on camera because it's only one item, so it's gonna be a quick one. But I wanna see how it looks and you guys are probably interested too. So let me just open this up and see what we got. Okay, so they are actually coasters that I got with my print on them. And I've never ordered coasters from Redbubble before, so I'm not sure what to expect. Oh my gosh, it's really packaged in here. Okay, should've got some scissors. Okay, hope I can get it out. That was really stuck together. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So four coasters, and this is what they look like. Okay, I haven't even looked. They're so cute. Uh, there's four of them. They're actually quite like, sturdy, and they have a little shine effect to them. Although, I just noticed, which is kind of upsetting, that there is a little white border on here. Which is so weird, because I usually make sure all my photos don't have any white borders, so I'm gonna double check after this video if my photo on Redbubble actually has that white border for the coasters, because if not, that is pretty disappointing, and I might mention that to Redbubble and they can reprint them. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit different on each one. Like, one of them, this border is not that bad. Like, it's quite small, you can't really see it. But then compared to this border, it's a little bigger and more obvious. I don't know, is it? Maybe it's just, yeah, it's a little bit more white, I think. But yeah, other than that, they're corkboard on the back, so that's good, and they do seem pretty sturdy, but it's kind of disappointing. I was really excited for these. They're still cute, and they still look nice. You know, they have like the plant on there, but it would be nice if they didn't have that little white edge. So I'm gonna check that and let you guys know maybe like in the next clip if it was my fault or Redbubble's fault. Okay, so now let's get into my earnings and I'll show you guys what I made in the month of April. So I'm just gonna go right into it. In April, I ended up making 481 US dollars and a few cents, I'll put it on the screen. So I was pretty happy with that because it was quite a lot more than my last couple of months. The last couple of months before that were kind of slow, so things picked back up in April and I think this was a maybe slightly above average month for me. So since I'm Canadian, obviously I converted that to Canadian dollars, which is what actually went to my bank account. And with that being said, I ended up making about 595 Canadian dollars, which is obviously even nicer to see that number. So close to the $600 mark for me, which is definitely a slightly above average month. So I was really happy with that. 
and I'm actually gonna go into my Redbubble account as always and show you guys what I exactly sold, how my analytics looked, and then I'll go into my goals for the next month afterwards. All right, so let's hop into my computer and I'll show you guys my analytics. Okay, so I'm just going into my payment history so you guys can see how much I made last month and then I'll go into the individual items. Okay, so as you can see here, April 2021, I got 481 US dollars and seven cents. So yeah, decent amount. If we actually look compared to last year, it's over double the amount I made last year. So that's kind of how I keep track of how well I'm doing and if I'm actually growing because some months it might seem like, oh, I didn't make enough, but then you look at that month from last year and it's way less. So clearly it does mean that you are growing, but some months are just gonna be worse than others. So yeah, April 20, 2020, I made 224. Then let's look at all of April's actually. Um, so April 2019, 367, really does fluctuate. Um, April 2018, 203. So that's definitely the lowest one. And is there a 2017? Yeah, there's a 2017 April and I made $130. But yeah, this is definitely my highest month of April I've seen so far and by quite a bit. So I am happy about that. Okay, so I'm just going to my sales history to see the individual items that I sold for the month of April. Um, went back a little bit too far here, let me see. Okay, so yeah, for the April sales, it was, as you know, half of March, half of, half of April. So we are in the halfway point of March right here. Um, so let's say like starting March 15th, that's probably when I would have made those sales. So <laughs> lots of blue ocean waves, just a few stickers, nothing crazy. Uh, let's go into the more recent ones. Some more stickers, a clock, throw pillow. Finally, something that's not blue ocean waves. Um, some coasters, masks. Quite a few more masks than I'm used to seeing recently. A t-shirt, A-line dress, throw pillow, throw pillow, a bit of everything. But as you can see, I didn't have that many sales this month or the month of April, but I had higher ticket sales. So I think that's what got me to that 400 whatever amount. Here I had a framed print, which let's see how much. That was $23, so those are always nice. What was this $10 one? Throw pillow. The A-line dress was 14, so as you can see, it definitely adds up. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I had a really big sale in April, and I'm gonna see if I can find that. Uh, duvet cover, 43 bucks, so that's a good one to have. So it never hurts to design just for duvet covers. Obviously, you can put on other things, but if you have a duvet cover in mind, because those ones do make you a lot of money. Metal print, how much was that? Okay, yeah, that was my big sale. So as you can see, this person bought two metal prints of this pastel pink, blue, and brown tile mosaic. So yeah, this one ended up earning me 214 US dollars and 99 cents just from one transaction. When I saw that, I freaked out because I think it is my biggest like single transaction I've ever had on Redbubble and just seeing that amount come to you in one transaction is amazing. Let me know if you guys have had any crazy transactions that you were in awe of or in shock of in the comments below and what the highest amount was. But yeah, usually like 40 bucks is my highest because those are like duvets and stuff, but uh, this one was pretty amazing. So yeah, I was happy with that. Then after that, a few more stickers, wall tapestries, and a few of the different prints we're selling here as well. Um, kids mask, yeah, pin button, quite a few pin buttons. Don't usually see those either. And some more stickers, and that's about it because, yeah, after the 13th, I don't think anything would have cleared in time for that payment. So, as you can see, quite a variety of things as always. Not as many items, but those big few sales in there really helped bump up that price. So, sometimes you don't need to sell that much to actually earn a decent amount. So let me see if there's any analytics left from April. It might be too late into the month, but let's see. Okay, so it was a little bit too late into the month to see the specific um, earnings summary and earnings by artwork and product, but I can see audience traffic sources based on April right here. So as you can see, it was a pretty decent month uh, for all of the sources. So organic had almost 2000 visitors. 
Social media had about 3,600 visitors, which is amazing. Went down a little bit from last month, but that's okay. Um, Redbubble had almost 1,600 visitors. Then I had about 1,300 for direct, and then almost 300 from other, which once again, I'm not exactly sure what other means, but probably just any other website that maybe my items were being shown on. Um, then let's look at my shares for the month of April. Okay, so I had actually more shares than last month by just a little bit. So in April, I had 186 unique visitors come from social media shares, which is pretty cool. Seven direct and then nine organic and nine from Redbubble. So I can always work on that. Um, I mean, most of those things aren't really up to me because I'm not the one sharing this, but it is, you know, a social media strategy you can use, but I'm not really too worried about increasing those numbers right now. Yeah, so those are pretty good. They're staying fairly consistent, so as long as they don't take a huge dip, as they might be in May, we'll see by the end of the month how that looks, but yeah, as long as they don't take a huge dip, then I'm happy with those. So last month, well, I guess maybe two months ago now, because it was March the last time I did an analytics slash earnings report, and my goal was to post at least 20 designs onto my Redbubble page, and I'm happy to say that I completed that and actually posted, I think, about 24 new designs. So I'll post some of those new designs up here because I think they're some of my favorite designs I've ever posted on Redbubble, which is kind of hard to say because usually I love ocean designs, but most of these actually were not ocean designs, so I was happy that I got a good uh, bulk of pictures on there and they've already received lots of engagement and let me, I'll double check if they got any sales, but yeah, I'm happy with the amount I put up last month. So for this month, my goal is to post another 20 designs because why not? It's just keeping me on a roll, keeping me accountable to grow my account. And I do have more pictures on my laptop that I can post and edit from previous trips, so I'm gonna do that. But I also wanna try to take some photos outside now that it's getting nicer out and the weather is nice and the flowers are blooming and the trees are blooming. So I did a nature walk last year to take some photos for Redbubble. So I'm probably gonna do another one of those or just go to some cool areas in my city to take some more photos for Redbubble and see what I can come up with. Another goal that I wanna have is to post a couple of trending designs on my Redbubble. So I just wanna try out and see how trending designs would work for me. Obviously it's not exactly in line with my Redbubble aesthetic, but I'm gonna try to keep it still similar to my aesthetic, but more trending as opposed to just photography. So we'll see how that goes. I'll have to do some research for that, which I can show on camera. But yeah, I just wanna try something new and see if it works better than what I'm doing now or if I should continue just posting photography. But that's all I have for today's video, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys watch my videos and enjoy them or get some good tips out of them, then I would really appreciate you guys subscribing. I feel like so many people watch my videos but don't convert to subscribers, so not sure why, but I do appreciate each and every one of you. So it really means a lot when you actually hit that subscribe button and join my channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up because that always helps with the algorithm and it helps promote my videos and allows other people to see them as well. So that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video and I wish you luck with all of your print on demand stores. Bye.